Today I'm going to show you how to create a blur effect in GIMP. This is a follow-up lesson to a lesson about contrast. I give this out a, a 1 out of 5 stars. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You're just going to need GIMP and any image. For those of you who don't know what GIMP is, it's a free graphic editing tool. So let's talk real quick about what the effect is that we're trying to create. So here's an image that's a little bit busy with the background and you're trying to highlight the characters. So just by blurring the background like that, uh, it adds some emphasis to the front. Same thing, we can blur out a couple of the other characters to add emphasis to any of them. So now I actually have GIMP open and I've gone ahead and opened an image. You can open any image here. I, you just go to File, Open, and open the image you want. Uh, to apply the effect, it's really pretty easy. It's a filter. So you just go to Filter, go down to Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Now it'll give you a little preview screen to show you um, how blurred it's going to be. Uh, and you can go up and down. That doesn't look like enough. Let's try 12. Click OK. And it'll process here. And let's see what it looks like. There we go. So now it's applied. Uh, it's subtle, but it makes a big difference when you add the characters to it. Now you'll want to go save it as something new. So file, save as. And this was a JPEG. So I would name it something new, like it was called 8, I'd call it 8, blur, and save it. There we go. Now it's the same thing if you want to do it with one of the characters. Uh, now all my characters, I already have the background removed. It's a PNG with a transparent background. But it's the same process. You'd go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and let's check this out. That maybe looks a little too heavy, so I'm going to go down to an 8. Uh, let's try 6. And let me open it up again. There we are. And now it has the blur. So if we zoom in a little bit. Nope. Let's zoom into 50%. You can see how she's blurred. And you can, you can select uh, how much you want to blur um, in that previous step. Here you want to make sure um, that when you're saving it, you keep it as a, a PNG. So let me do blur, save. Um, if you do a JPEG, you'll end up with the white background, uh, not a transparent background. So save background color, we want to make sure that's clicked. And it'll just take a few seconds to process. And now we're done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's brought to you by eLearning Art. You can visit eLearningArt.com for more information. Also, I will do a lesson in Photoshop in case that's the tool that you use.